Meandering rivers form on uh, low gradient areas um, and that where the water is driven down the slope, but the actual dynamics of the flow and erosion allow the channel to uh, deviate from the main downslope direction. So I've drawn a map view of a, a meandering river here and the slope will be going down this way, uh, but the dynamics of the variations in the Reynolds number, including the flow speed and the water depth, cause the river to build out these bends. And so if we look at uh, one of these um, meanders here, what's happening is that the flow is coming around like this, and it's being deflected by the outside of the bend. And that means that the, uh, there's a force of water into the bend here, right? So that you tend to get erosion where the flow is going into the riverbank. Also, the water on the outside of the bend has to move a farther distance than the water on the inside of the bend. And so you, al you also have a higher flow speed on the outside than the inside. So the, you, the flow speed outside is greater than the flow speed on the inside of the bend. And that means that the Reynolds number is higher. And so you end up with erosion more erosion sort of all the way in through here. Okay. And because the water is uh, moving more slowly on the inside, you tend to get deposition on the inside of the bed, bend here. Okay. So this dynamic of erosion and deposition tends to drive the formation of these river bends or meanders. So we can look at a cross section of uh, the river channel and, and look at, at that variation as well. So if we look at a cross section through here, so what happens through time is our flow speed is highest over here. Uh, and the water depth is pretty large. So over time, this part goes away and sediment accumulates on the inside of the bend here. So you end up with a systematic channel migration going this way and what you accumulate in the rock record is what gets deposited e on the, the inside of the bend, um, as long as it's not later eroded later, right? So this inside of the bend is the is called the point bar because it's sort of point the point around which the the river is migrating, and so over time you end up with a migration of the channel and the accumulation of sediment. We can look at the grain sizes that are likely to be deposited in the channel. And we have the, the deepest point here, and we have faster flow on this side. So the deepest point is called the Thalwen. And in general, on the outside of the bend relative to the Thalweg is where you have the erosion and you have the deposition on the inside. So this part, this point is the point with the highest uh, Reynolds number where sediment is actually being deposited, so you end up with the coarsest uh, sediment deposited here, and all um, the grain sizes are transported there. And up here is where you can only accumulate uh, finer sediment. The coarsest grains don't get transported up there. but you can get the finer sediments deposited.
um, in this zone here. So as the point bar migrates, what you see are coarser grains overlain by finer grains going upward. Okay, and so the next layer would have some of the coarser grains, finer grains, going upward with each um, part of the migration. We also get distinctive sedimentary structures that form reflecting the migration of bed forms from the deepest part of Thalweg of the flow up to the finer parts on the uh, point bar. So we have the fastest flow down at the bottom and so typically that would be upper planar lamination or or trough cross stratification here so we can get the upper planar and the trough cross stratification um, with the trough cross stratification being due to the sinuous uh, dune crest or regular dune crest migrating. Planar cross stratification is also common and that's from the migration of straight crested dunes. So we, we can get that as a sedimentary structure. And then as the flow speed goes down and the water depth goes down, the grain size is smaller and we tend to get a ripple cross lamination that is reflecting, also reflecting that, that lower flow speed. The deposits are very uh, nicely uh, organized with a clear grain size variation from coarser to finer and sedimentary structures that show a higher flow upward into a lower flow. Thanks for watching.